Hi YouTubers, um, my next review is going to be of the Alien series. The whole movie, there's tons of them that are Alien. Um, specifically, I like the 1979 original one, Alien, and then I like the follow-up from 1986, which is Aliens. Um, the 79 one was directed by Ridley Scott, and the second one from 86 was directed by James Cameron, who does tons of stuff, if you don't know. Um, both films had Sigourney Weaver, but the 86 one had Bill Paxton and Paul Reiser, the guy from Mad About You. The whole series is inspired by works of H.R. Geiger. He did a lot of real, really weird alien stuff and babies shooting out of guns. And the 1979 uh, film deals with computer telling the crew of the ship that they have to go and investigate this unidentifiable signal on a planet. They get there and they find everyone dead, except they find a couple of people with these things that passed on to their face. And as they're prying at it, finally it gets off and they go, oh, it's cool, you know, and they're investigating and one of them gets stuck to this guy, and they get it off before he dies, and they're eating dinner, and then all of a sudden, bam, a big alien bursts out of its chest, and it scampers across the floor. That right there is the most iconic thing I remember about it, because everyone loves a cute little alien bursting out of somebody's chest during dinner time. Well, the second one from 1986, um, that one's a little bit different. They convince Sigourney Weaver, who's the only survivor besides her cat, Jones, in the first one, to go back into space to a space station because they can't find anybody living on the space station. They want to know what happens, and they think it's an alien. So, after some convincing, Paul Reiser, who's a big ass in the movie, he convinces her to go back. So she goes back, and she finds a little kid who's the only survivor. Cute little kid, and they call her Newt. Well, everyone dies. Newt and her are the only survivor because they she, Newt knows how to get around the duck work or some crap like that. Well, at the end of it, the most the one thing I remember about it is Sigourney Weaver's in this big forklift robot thing, and the alien's going after the little girl, and she says, so the big line in the movie is Sigourney Weaver telling the alien, get away from her, you bitch. And then she proceeds to kill the alien by shoving it out the airlock, and it gets sucked into space and dies, supposedly. Um, the aliens are all over, and they have, like, I don't know, four or five, a million movies after that with the aliens. One of them even has Winona Ryder in it as an android. Um, they have badass aliens and weapons of mass destruction and also a cat. You, you know, you gotta give props to the cat. So I'm gonna give them a thumbs up. Um, the later ones get kinda iffy, but they all have Sigourney Weaver in them in some way, shape, or form. And some of them have some big names in them. Like I said, Winona Ryder at the time was a big name to be in it. But, um, they're, they're pretty good movies. They're kinda loud, kinda creepy, kinda gross. But they're a pretty good sci-fi horror flick. 